hello everyone i am dr rajesh and i am again with you with my new video lecture and today's topic of video lecture is order of elements of a group under multiplication modulo m so we will uh, study firstly what is multiplication modulo m if we say a here is the sign multiplication and subscript m and is equal to list no negative integer remaining as a remainder when a usual multiplication b is divided by m so this is the definition of multiplication modulo m and now let us consider a problem and problem is given by this is the statement let g is equal to 1 2 3 4 find the order of the elements of the group g under the binary operation multiplication modulo 5 binary operation is multiplication modulo 5 so we have to find the order of the elements since we know that this is a group because when this this here is 5 is a prime number p we have elements starting multi under multiplication we have the element starting from 1 to p minus 1 and the modulo here will be p multiplication modulo modulo p so where this p is a prime number so this p must be a prime number if it is not a prime number then this will not form a group so this p has to be prime number then 1 2 up to p minus 1 will form a group so this is the necessary condition for this to form a group so we can also uh, in the examination it could be asked that uh, prove that this forms a group under multiplication modulo 5 but now here the question in the next video lecture we will be proving that this forms a group under multiplication modulo 5 so in at present we have the problem in hand that find the orders of the elements of group g now take first element 1 1 is identity element because 1 is the identity under usual multiplication and here also 1 is identity 1 is identity element of g is equal to 1 2 3 4 if you want to see how it is identity element you write 1 2 form the table 3 4 1 2 3 4 now you complete the table then it will be clear that how it is identity and 0 is addition modulo m identity if it would have been addition then 0 has been the identity and if it is multiplication 1 is the identity so now see form 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 divided by 5 remainder is again 1 so I will write 1 1 into 2 is 2 divided by 5 is 2 1 into 3 is 3 divided by 5 is 3 1 into 4 is 4 divided by 5 remainder is 4 2 into 1 is 2 divided by 5 remainder is 2 2 into 4 divided by 5 remainder is 4 2 into 6 is 6 2 into 3 is 6 divided by 5 is 1 2 into 4 is 8 divided by 5 is 3 3 into 1 3 3 into 2 6 1 3 into 3 9 divided by 5 is 4 3 into 4 is 12 divided by 5 is remainder is 2 now last one is 4 into 1 is 4 divided by 5 is 4 4 into 2 8 it will be 3 4 into 3 is 12 divided by 5 is 2 4 into 4 is 16 divided by 
5 remainder is 1. So look here 1 this is 1 when multiplied by 1 is 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 multiplied by 3 is 3 multiplied by 4 is 4 and here also 1 1 so this is same so 1 is identity element of G and it is clear from it is clear from table fine so and we know that order of identity element is always equal to 1 so order of 1 is 1 next we take the second element and second element is 2 we have to find order of 2 now 2 once written 2 multiplication and in the subscript multiplication subscript 5 means multiplication model 5 when 2 divided by 5 is remainder is 5 2 multiplication 2 4 divided by 5 is equal to 4 2 5 2 5 2 this is equal to now may i write it as 2 2 2 subscript 5 subscript 5 may I combine these two the result from the above equation is 4 now 2 into 4 is 8 multiplication modulo 5 and this will form 3 now next is 2 2 2 2 5 5 5 now result for 3 is this one that will be 3 directly so i am going to combine these as 2 2 2 2 5 5 5 so i am going to combine these three so re result for these three is from the above case this two into three multiplied is a six and divided by five remainder is one so this is the identity so may i write it that when we multiplied two four times we get one which is the identity element and four is the least positive integer which is raised to 2 and gives the identity so may I say that order of 2 is equal to 4 now next we have to find the order of 3 on the same lines we will try to find the order of 3 3 and here is multiplication modulo 5 is 3 next is 3 multiplication modulo 5 3 into 3 is 9 multiplication modulo 5 9 when divided by 5 is 4 now next is 3 multiplication 3 multiplication 3 5 5 so from the above 3 multiplication modulo 5 is 4 so I'm going to write this over here 3 4 3 into 4 is 12 multiplication modulo 5 when 12 is divided by 5 remainder is 2 so now next seed I'm going to take 4 times so this is this one and for the 3 times result is 2 from the above subscript so for 3 times result is 3 into 2 is 6 when divided by 5 is 1 this implies that when 3 multiplied 4 times gives the 1 which is the identity element each by the 3 multiplied under multiplication modulo 5 gives 1 which is identity element this implies that order of 3 is 4 next we take 4 order of 4 we see 4 under multiplication modulo 5 gives 4 4 multiplication modulo 5 is 16 
divided by 5 remainder is 1 therefore 4 which is identity now we need to stop which is identity element this implies that 4 2 is equal to identity this implies that order of 4 is equal to 2 so order of 4 is 2 order of 3 is 4 therefore we can write order of 1 is 1 order of 2 is 4 order of 3 is equal to 4 and order of 4 is equal to 2 and if you in the question it is also asked that also determine the order of g how many elements are there in g here are four elements so order of the group is four so this is very important question from the examination point of view so this is all i have from this lecture and if you have liked the lecture please like subscribe share and comment this is dr rajesh saying goodbye take care bye bye